I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. He booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then the fifth time he cared about everyone he was the kind of guy you wanted to be around he was a world class bullshitter he was my best friend All I want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. <clears throat> Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe? was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. Ooh, now is not the time, Mac. Now is not the time. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Pause. Did we actually hear the sat phone call? Because I recall them saying, uh, we, you know, Gabe comes back and he's like, all right, they canceled it off, but we weren't there for the sat phone call, I don't think. Well, I didn't, I didn't hear Gabe make the call, but he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. 
pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And hey, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. <laughs> Watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? Ouch. What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me interrupt. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Jesus Christ, what a fucking mess. But Ryan does have a point. Mac has motive. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone out. <laughs> Poor Alex. I kind of know how she feels, though. Alex? I think we all do. Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? I am now. <laughs> okay, let me let me chill. Let me chill. <sighs> no. God no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? What the heck happened there? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. 
We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? He actually kept it. made her think of it really messed her up I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her one of the happiest memories I have thanks Gabe Charlotte's sculpture I wonder how she's really holding up really going on with Steph. So it wasn't, it definitely wasn't raining before, but in her world, now it's raining. I personally don't find rain sad, I find it comforting, but I guess I'm kind of weird for that. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. So clearly they drew faces on the foosball uh, dudes. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. It's very easy to confuse the band name for someone who's just out of context saying don't shit on my yard. But uh, sad moments, let's let's focus on that. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Her sadness is so strong. I hope I can help. Steph? Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, here it is. I need to find out why Steph is so upset. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. So clearly Gabe is the reason she stayed and, you know, all the happy shit that reminds her of uh, Gabe is just, it now just reminds her of the sadness now that it's gone. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. 
He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. You're good, girl. You're good. I get it. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. <laughs> that shit eating grin on First Alex's five face. If you say so. Oh shit. Uh, how do I play again? Uh, so, it... how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. <laughs> I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. time <laughs> I don't think I won last okay, time wait, wait let's get serious one more game 
winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know Gabe would be all about us playing like this. Well, then it's settled. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat her when she's, like, on proper difficulty. Oh, God. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. <sighs> oh, God. I'm not good at this. How did I get that? Hey, so are you into girls or what? Can I answer? Can I answer? <laughs> yeah. Girls are pretty rad, right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and wear beanies like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning combo. Who's what? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. Oh shit. My mid is terrible. That. Yes, <laughs> foosball champion, foosball champion, Kardashian <laughs> family. Oh. <laughs> Good game. Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. I kind of wanted to lose, to be honest, because uh, Steph is cute and Alex is cute, and together they make cute It's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Still worked out, though, I guess. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. Kiss. Kiss. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? Um... I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. You uh, need help with that work, Steph? I, I, I did the thing in the radio store. I'm, I'm free. I don't Bye. have a job. Well, I kind of do. Bye. You're in there like swimwear, Chin. Get in there. Get those digits. I mean, now is not obviously not an appropriate time, but next time, get those digits. I know Gabe made that call. But did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Well, let's find out. Pay attention to the title of this game. It comes in later. Let's clean up around. Because last time I played my game, I didn't clean up around enough. And uh, I didn't get the, um, 
the choice for it. It said I didn't clean up the apartment See? when I did. I can be a person. I guess I must have missed a day or something. Shushu, how you doing? Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. So we got the Life is Strange 2 attire here. Uh, DJ Kitty. Uh, this almost looks like some kind of LGBT uh, flag right here. More Life is Strange 2. Uh, I'm probably going to stick with black. Uh, I like black. Um, let's see. There's something I want to look at before we go investigate. Ah, clean. Oh man, this is some uh, A-tier gameplay here, guys. You guys entertained by me doing dishes? It's a start. Cleaning around the house? That's so entertaining. I do think that has a slight impact later, but not terribly. Thank God for this thing. We'd never have found Ethan without it. Yep. Um. Let's see. There's something around here. Oh, there's another one. Did I miss so that? Long. Depression food. I think I got that one. I might have missed the clothes. So am I good on the cleaning now? Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Dr. Lin, huh? Okay. I think we're good. There's still clothes Feels and stuff like on the Feels like a million floor. years since that day with Gabe. Yeah. It hasn't even been a week. I feel that. I feel that. Uh, yeah, let's not look at that too much. Just in case. Um, yeah, let's go upstairs. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo, you know you're the best character of this game, right? Of all Life is Strange series, shoo shoo. Best character. Hands down. Every time. Look at the graphics. God, it's so beautiful. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. Do I want to sit down? Probably not, because it's going to try to play music. Uh, I'm not too worried about having these little moment things. I don't think that has any impact. What I do know that does have a slight impact is when you get the chance to water these plants, you're gonna want to water them. Oh hey. You could stay here too. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking see you around, Steph. How do I water these plants? They look dry. I don't know if I can. Maybe I already fucked it up. Because I thought we couldn't go upstairs until now. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm probably going to cut this because... Yeah. Maybe the next... Maybe it's because I didn't water it in the first chapter. If you can at all. 
elbow. I don't know what else to do. I'm not I'm not too worried about that. That's just a minor cool little detail, is that you can water your plants in the Life is Strange game. And if you don't, they die. Well, guys, our plants are dead. I'm a terrible plant mom. In real life too. Just fix that real quick. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. Jed, but it wasn't your fault. Max started it. Yeah, but I didn't exactly stop it, though, either, did I? I'm sure Gabe would have been happy that we had it here. I could tell he really loved this place. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. I don't have a choice. He was my brother. I have to at least try. Yeah, you do. But, if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, Swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. Dang! I'm trying to go! Oh, okay. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now. For as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. I don't like the way he said that. Give him hell. <laughs> I have no idea what to even say to him. Okay. What's baby girl got to say? Okay, so basically everyone's saying, I'm sorry, I feel bad for you.
Okay. Anything we want to look at or do before we go? I don't think so. Actually, there is one thing. This is kind of important. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. Yes, ma'am. Say less. There's a couple different options for what you can put on the, uh... Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. I think you can put this photo here. Or... I th think this... The foosball trophy. And I think that's about it, but I could be wrong. Gabe really meant the world to stop. Oh, I can't even take that. There's something else. I know there's more than one option for it, but I can't remember what it is. Wouldn't be the album, would it? Oh. Um. Do I want to put the album, or do I want to put the, uh, the picture? Uh, in my personal opinion, I put away the photo because uh, we're clearly not fond of our parents. Here, coming downstairs. Can we put more than one thing down there? I'd love to if I could. This is perfect for the memory table. We can put more than one thing down there? That's awesome. Oh, it trades it. No, leave the, uh, the photo down there. You're coming downstairs. It's the most appropriate thing to put on a, a memory table or a wake or whatever you want to call it. Also, there's these notes. Thanks, Jed. And you can read that if you want to. I have something to add to Gabe's table. Anything else? Do we have anything else to talk about? Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Yeah. That'd be good. RM and TB. I wonder who they were. Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. Alright, let's skip using the jukebox because uh, that's I more. should set this on Gabe's table before I right, go. Right, 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 right. My bad. I'm glad that stops me. Good to know that's a thing.
had an incredible mom. And I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said, she said, you're exactly what these mountains need. Losing someone like that, I guess you never get used to it. So that was one of the things I wanted to show is that we can look at memories, not just from people, but on objects as well. I say memories, feelings more like. Alright, let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. But I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. Oh, you heard about the accident. Was it on the news? Don't mind me. No, no one's been fired. Yet. Yes, Mom. I, I still have a job at Typhoon. They still have plans to expand. Uh-huh. Is that so? No, no, Mom. It would not help for you to call them. Same. Should I sit at the dock for a while? Yeah, why not? Until copyright music starts playing. And then I'm gonna get up real quick. Is that copyright music playing in the background I hear? Yep. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. Okay, cut that. Cut that. Let's uh, skip, 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 skip. Yeah, let's just uh, get up. We we had our moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, from there on, it was copyright uh, hell. If I haven't already messed it up, I think we can read uh, Pike. Game was too young. Just too young. Yeah, we don't we don't have anything to say to him really. I think Well, maybe. Let's see. Hey Pike. Hey. Um How you holding up? Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush.
Yeah, I was gonna say Max a liar, but if we do that, the police can do the whole thing the where they're like. The park looks fun to explore. Okay, but if if we did give him a statement before we even I give him an little. official statement, the police so can still use that as evidence, uh, especially if you're being accused of a crime. Anything you oh, say can sorry. be used against you. You're fine. Hell, even if you're innocent, anything you say or do can be used against you in a court of law. So, uh, yeah. We're not being accused, though, so I think we're okay. But generally, you don't want to talk to the police, because if they want to use something against you, they will. Let's try to help her real quick. Where are you hiding, my feathered friend? Please, I need you. Is she looking for... a bird? Maybe I'll keep an ear out. I think I actually cool remember binoculars. Where it is. You bird watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win a contest. Oh, good luck. Thanks. If I remember right, the bird is actually pretty close by, like over here, or something like that. I remember there being a bunch of chairs and stuff. I think it's this one right here. I wonder if this is the bird that woman is looking for. Maybe I should let my binocular friend know. Okay, so we should be able to tell them now wherever that they are. That might be our feathered friend. Like, hey, the bird's over here. You're welcome. There's a huge bird over by the wall. Seriously? That might be my hawk. Thank you. You're welcome. Dang, she walks fast. Look at her go. Beat you there. It'll probably break the game though. <laughs> Look at her go. Dang. Are you good? Are we good? Did, did we finish helping her? I think we did, because I can't interact. Yeah, I think we're good here. Cool. Oh god, the game. It's, it's shitting itself. It did not like that sideways run or whatever. I must have hit like a boundary or something. You're writing a novel? Since when? Hey. I just started. I have no idea what I'm doing. More gay people. Babe, this is great. We wanted to take a class together, right? Let's do creative writing. But that wouldn't start until what if I die tomorrow. Just like that guy. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. You're right. Oh god. Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Fuck. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? I'm fine. Okay. Definitely not fine. Yeah, no kidding. Oh god, I'm stuck on a tree. Another plaque. Oh god. Sorry about leveling all your mountains. Here's a bench. Right. Alex gets it. I'm probably gonna put in uh, some ice cube for all the police uh, shit I've been talking. It's 
bullshit. We have a right to know what's happened to Typhon eight years of my life. And they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. I know, I know. I'm just exploring, game. You don't have to harp on me. What is that? One doctor had me try meditation. I always just fell asleep. Can we go to the record store before we go to the dispensary? Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Oh, we have time. Oh, we always have time for Steph. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Before we do that, let's do this. Chrissy looks sweet. It would definitely be wrong to claim someone else's lost dog. Right? Alex, no. We're not stealing dogs. Not right now, anyway. So I didn't get to do this during my play, but turns out you can't help this guy. It's just you have to look at certain things. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. Chrissy. Wait. Isn't that the name of the found dog? It's funny because he's looking in the breakup section, but it's for his dog. So it makes you think something weird is going on here. Bruh, are you good? Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? Oh, awesome. Yes, thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? No sweat. Take your time. I'll wait. Thanks again. Me and Chrissy owe you one. You bet. Kitty, I hear you. Where are you? Valkyrie. Val, I just want to be friends. Oh, she's so precious. Oh, vicious kitty. She says, do not touch. No touchies. Oh, she's so cute and she meows. Oh, my heart. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. Let's just, let's just knock. Why can't I knock? There Steph we go. said she wants. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? Talked is maybe too strong a word. I tried. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Oh, can I... Okay, there we go. So if I remember right, this guy looks more like the monster in the comic. Cravius looks pretty badass. Go with that. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. Be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do.
I think we can actually kind of check. The adventures of Feanor are about to get real. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mid yeah, he's kind of... Well, there's a goblin in the comic, but I don't know if the main boss is a goblin. But yeah, you guys can read this if you want to. Let me just scroll over it again real quick. Mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Drinking Still bird. Still going. Drinking Bird, you're also a great character. You inspire me. Um, there's something we're supposed to touch, or look, or something. Uh, like a phone list? What is it? Is this it? Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. Well, Alwyn, because she's from the comic. How about a throwback to Ethan's old buddy? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. I think healing is the superior option here. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? Oh, it this music in the background and is stormy night. copyright. This LARP thing oh. just might work. Is that a banjo in the background? That's for real a banjo. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Ninth Warden's cool. But not as cool as Thanor. Look at all these cool comics. I don't know how to read some of them, but you can for real read some of these comics. Uh, we're supposed to be doing something. Um, let's see. Where is the thing we're looking for? Yo, Steph. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. That... Yo, Steph, did you make sure this music is uh, Creative Commons before you started putting it in the playlist? Like, am I good, Steph? I don't know. I don't remember what I'm doing. Uh, visit the dispensary. Investigate the flower shop. Um, I think I've done everything we're going to do. So it says, add something to the memory table, fill Steph's comp book. Okay, so yeah, we've done everything we need to do here. So we need to go to the flower shop. But before we do that, let's visit the dispensary. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. You don't say. I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion, but fuck this. I'm not going to read that, uh, but if I remember right, uh, for the most part, Alex is a relatable character and we're on the same page. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Oh, here's the dispensary. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. 
I'm so sorry for your loss. Is she, Alex? No, my bad. Alex already explained that she can't read minds. She can just feel strong feelings. She's an empath. My bad, my bad. Charlotte? Alex? Hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. Oh look, we're in a dispensary in Colorado. How very Colorado. Would they even have that in a small town though? It's whatever. But basically they're just trying to show that it's Colorado. Um, let's just say this. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah. Distractions help. I like the alien. How about one. you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. He does seem distant. He practically just lost a father. He's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Shit, I don't remember which one. I think this one is the correct option. I could be wrong, though. He's a pretty insightful kid. He knows how much you're hurting, even when you try to hide it from him. Instead of trying to be strong, maybe the best thing you can do is show him that it's okay to hurt. That's really helpful, Alex. Thank you. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? I... An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. Yeah, that's dirty. Don't that's touch that. so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Preach, sister. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? Yes. I don't think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call, and I'm going to prove it. I just, I need some time. Thanks for being honest. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, okay. Of course, she's right. But I could really use that money. Don't we do can't it. can't give in. 
matter how hard it is. Don't do it, Charlotte. That's the devil's money right there. Don't let them buy you off after killing someone that you love. Don't ever, don't ever let that happen. Given the circumstances, I could definitely go for a few of these. Slippery slope, Alex. Slippery slope. But I get it. Man. These things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? Yeah, em emphasis on underlying cause. Don't just do stuff and expect it to be a cure. It's just a crutch. You have to heal. You have to actually heal. And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? Uh, this one, Alex. The one the arrow is pointing to, obviously. Don't you know how superpowers work? Oh, this one. This is some creepy shit. Look at this. What the fuck? What are you? Look at it. It's so creepy. Look, he's like, oh, I stubbed my toe. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. More like really creepy. I'm goth and I would not have that on my house. That shit looks cursed as hell. That's like something you bring into your house and then haunted shit starts happening. Like, for real. It wouldn't be so bad if their expression wasn't so pained. Like, are you good? Zimmy, was it? Are you good? Look like you done stepped on a Lego. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Yep, that's all we have left to do. Next week. There's some other optional sure. stuff. But... I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Want to join? Uh, class? Uh, maybe. Could we get dinner first? Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. Yeah, I usually, if I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. I like how she changed her mind. No. I, I understand a lot of these feelings that are going around. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not going to put my business out there. Uh... But yet, shit happens. Yikes. Yeah, how did that not make your head hurt, Alex? That almost scared the shit out of me when I first heard that one. It was so loud. Oh. It's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. Now you know how Ethan feels. Uh, the flower shop is on the corner or something? Sorry about today. It's not... Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked. Call me. Where's the flower shop? Is it on the other side? I think it is.
Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Uh oh. Hmm. Aunt May's spider senses are going off. We're in trouble. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Actually, we can. I'm just kidding. I don't think the game will let us anyway. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just going to put my hand in front of your face. Okay. Time to figure out why she's afraid. She's afraid of flowers. She's allergic, and she works in a flower shop. The doctor said I had more no time. But everything is becoming so out of order. All my memories are fading. I feel broken. Well, damn. If they know if they about, know my, about condition, my condition, they'll make me close, make this, me place. close this place. There's one more. I don't know why, but there's always four. It's probably back here. Here it is. If Riley, Riley finds, finds out. out. She can't. She Find out. How does she hide all of this? Is there something else I'm missing? I feel, I feel broken. broken. Yeah, apparently I'm missing something else, so there must be a fifth thing. Flowers. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. 
she's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, uh, I don't want to keep you. <sighs> hey. I... I want to help. You're so sweet. Okay. What would Eleanor have done first? I think I remember the first thing, but not everything. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. No one with sunglasses, you have anything to say about this? Ah. A man of few words. I respect that. Well, what would have distracted her, which distracts most people, would be a phone. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? And it was probably for these flowers. Probably the lilies. A uh, lily of the valley. For a game. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. check for a receipt in here or something oh there we go the check for the lilies would be in here right that could tell us who bought them should mr. Jedediah Lucan huh looks like the lilies are for Jed Right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. And the mist is gone. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God, she doesn't remember. So if I remember right, in my gameplay, I spared her the pain. But by doing that, uh, she does. I think people in this game appreciate it when you help them, but you also let them manage their own problems. Like you don't hold their hand 
or keep things from them. You just tell them the truth and, you know, you give them a guiding hand, but you don't be too, I guess, overstepping with it. So I'm gonna try this this time. Hopefully it'll come out better. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake? I... missed it. Sorry. Hey, it's not... Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope we made the right decision. Okay. That sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Indeed. Um... That poor young man. How did I forget? I'm so sorry, Eleanor. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. Yeah, she's basically Mary Jane. She looks like her, and she does act like her a little bit. More confirmation here. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place. And anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's. Oh, God. Way to take the bait, Rye. You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule. And I would really like to see your robot. If you want to show me. Damn it, Nick. I'm trying really hard to hate you right now. Yeah, well, people are messy, Alex. It's not all black and white. How you doing, Gnome? That guy is still bad to the Gnome. Oh, God. Cringe. Much like the entirety of my videos. Cringe. <laughs> ah, such bad jokes. Such bad humor. One more reason Alex is a relatable character. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? Okay. Um, let's go back for a second. That. So, someone picked up this cat in the garbage. That's not a cat. That's a fucking cub for like a lion or something. How's your progress I think Mac is over here. Ranch? Did you buy your chicken coop? I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? Drop the act. I know you've been lying about that night. You don't know shit. Mac, come on. 
He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. And I know what that something is. I won't lie. I searched for a long time to figure this out. Before there were any guides or anything. It was a bitch to figure it out. And it's very easy to miss. Because it's very open world. But, uh... You have to go into this alleyway here. I didn't know I could go this far, but... You talk to Riley here. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad you had him. He was a really good guy, Alex. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. I think she just wants me to end up happy. Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah, to both of us. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong... Why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him no, and that we were done. And now, Scared, he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth.
I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac try thanks for spending time with me. Thanks for letting me. So how do we tell Riley about Eleanor's Alzheimer's? I don't know if there's something we have to do in particular to do that. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know. I think we can do that later. Um, but we need to go back to the bridge now and see if we can't get... I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. I don't think we... is there? Yeah, we've done everything we can. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. There are a few things I want to do. Um, there might I be. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. That's the game warning you this is a point of no return. There might be one thing I want to do. Um, so we talked to Ethan's mom, but did we check back up with Ethan after to check up on him? Oh, are you okay, lady? Are you good? Are you okay? She just spazzed out for a sec. So, Ethan is on the way other side of town. He should still be down there. And if he is, he might have something else to say now that we've talked with his mom. I'm here for you whenever you need me. I don't think we can do anything more for him. He looks so... alone. I'm here for you, whenever you need me. Yeah, there's nothing more we can do for him. We've already talked to his mom, so... Let's go back to the bridge. Pretty sure we've done everything I want to do. I feel like there's a lesson here about love leaving a mark on the world. But I'm not in the fucking mood. Yeah, I hear that. This location gets all the foot traffic. And the oh, customers here are a lot nicer than in Denver. Never been to Denver, but I guarantee they're nice here. Anything I can what do? What about that accident? Frankly, I'm a little spooked. If Typhoon goes under, I'd lose all my business. It's very unlikely that anything with Typhon will change. They've been the largest employer in Haven for decades. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's nothing else we can really do. We got to hang out with Seth for a little bit. I say Seth, I meant Steph. I, I must have Sephiroth on the brain. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do. Okay, before okay, I I'm ready. Mac. This is final. I'm good. I'm good. All right. Am I ready for this? You are ready for this, Alex Chin. Kick his ass. Okay. Let's do this. Your ex girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! Leave me alone!
hope the game isn't stuck. Oh, shit. There we go. Fuck. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. I think my game crashed. It it's not showing anything. Let's try reloading. Because it it I should be make showing. I sure stuff. there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Okay, let's see if it'll load this time. If not, I may have to turn down the graphics. All right, am I ready for this? Still good. Okay, let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. Let's try turning down the graphics. Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Oh yeah, the game's definitely broken. Try closing the game. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. Fuck. 
Here we go. All right. Am I ready for this? Okay. Let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God. It's not... I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! <sighs> Leave me alone! I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. All right. Am I ready for this? Okay. Let's do this. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh, God. It's not... I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! <sighs> Leave me alone! Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. They run this whole town! Okay, so when I was recording this, for some reason the uh, cutscene after the initial one turns everything black and it breaks. So I don't know what happened with that, but we're back! Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me! Hopefully that won't happen again. It's not fair! I didn't do anything wrong! It should have been you instead. Alex? No! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. 
They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Does this guy look like an actor or something? He looks familiar. I know he's in something, but he's not from what I think he is, though, probably. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Cave and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer. My neighbors all hate me. I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? No, he doesn't deserve it, but it's the right thing to do. All right, Mac, come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted, to have everyone think the worst of you, but the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? Real reassuring, Alex. They damn near nearly got through you. But it worked. Good job. Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> gonna do now don't leave Haven I'm gonna get to the truth and probably get you and everyone you care about killed in the process because it's bigger than you think Alex that's how it always is when there's a conspiracy at hand it ain't easy taking down a corporation God forbid they ever learn you have powers Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. 
doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and... It doesn't matter! I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Let's be honest here. Typhon did this. You did everything right. Typhon took him away from us. Not you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. I think this is realistically the right answer here. You can't really give forgiveness to someone who doesn't want to forgive themselves. You have to let them forgive themselves. There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. You're not alone. gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. What a Jurassic mood change. Can I ask you something? Of course. Yes, I'm gay. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? Didn't you know all those gay people have telepathy? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is 
is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay, think of something sad, like breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. Gabe's laugh. We never made anyone laugh like him. You'll, you're sad you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. Phone. I'm trying to read people's feels. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? Comedy gold. <laughs> Unlike that joke I just made. <laughs> Must be a good memory. I wonder if I can piece it together. <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose <laughs> is a violation of international <laughs> law. Shut up! It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? The... the repeated laughing in the background is bad. They should have left that out. It just sounds so cringe. Stop! How deep you think? Deeper than that. <laughs> the Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> did you... Finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? Are we going to be positive or negative about it? Uh, let's be positive. So, I guess I have this power. 
I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I... I feel what they feel. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... that... That was... pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But... Now, I guess... Just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... Why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Handshake. Okay, Only... then. Team up. Do the buddy cop thing. Cringe. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, Jen. But you get results. <laughs> It was at this point, Spider Cop and Ryan decided to team up. I need to stop. <laughs> oh, hell. Sorry, but the loose cannon thing reminds me of Spider Cop from, uh, I think that recent Spider Man game. What was that on the PS4? But yeah, we, you could give Ryan a hug, and that probably leads down the path of a relationship, but we're gay, so. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. Oh god, copyright music incoming. I'm probably gonna have to mute this. Oh, this is an actual I song. I think, yeah, this is definitely copyright. And there's no dialogue over this? This is super copyright. How do I, change I actually kind of recognize this song, maybe? It's probably a cover, though. Uh, editing me, can you mute this, please? Sad music over it or something. I didn't speak this morning. We might be alright. I couldn't. Probably not. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build.
So, looking at our stats, most people decided to calm down Mac, despite him being a jerk. Uh, most people reminded Eleanor of what happened in my previous gameplay. I did not do that, uh, but I think it's probably for the best that we do uh, tell her the truth. Uh, good that most people told Charlotte not to take the money. Uh, Alex did take a quiet moment on the dock. Uh, that's not important. Uh, yes! I got the tidied up the apartment one. I did not get this before. I think I missed one thing. Um, Alex put up a photograph of Gabe. It looks like most people put the album on there. I respect it. And it's kind of split on this one. Uh, most people don't realize there's a dartboard you can look at. I That's such a subtle thing. I didn't notice it either. Uh, Alex... Of course, most people chose to be named Alwyn for the LARP, which is the right choice, because it's all about Ethan. And um, I didn't sit at the table at the rooftop, um, which I usually do, but not this time. And we were honest about not hearing the call, kind of split. Um, most people offered Ryan Gabe's forgiveness, which I don't, and it's the nicest thing to do, but it's not realistic. We can't offer someone's forgiveness who isn't here anymore, and we can't offer our own because that's not our place. Um, Ryan and Alex shook hands at the ravines. Most people shared a hug with uh, Ryan, uh, between Ryan and Alex. I, I'm going for steps, so no. Um, Maybe that has an impact later, um, but I don't want to lead him on. I feel like that's more fucked up to do. Um, and, and we're in the minority, uh, positively, for winning the uh, foosball game. I'm not going to lie, that wasn't easy. Um, most people chose Stormweather. Let's see, Alex helped the bird watcher. Surprised most people didn't get that. Um, Alex helped. Okay, this I failed to do before. I'm glad I got to do it. And that's all the decisions. Okay. And that is uh, chapter two. Um, if you enjoy this, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching.